Bitcoin in Russia is openly available in the United States. Hey everyone, welcome back. So happy to have you here. It's your girl Courtney Shavante, and I am back with another beautiful tutorial for you guys. Before we get started, make sure you do hit that like button, hit the subscribe button for me, and also make sure that you turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything else that I do put out. All right, so we're going to be making some really dope star shaped keychains today, celestial themed. So we're going to go ahead and get started by adding a little bit of pigment powder into one of the cavities um, because there are six different little star cavities on here. So one of them is going to have this pigment powder on here just to kind of experiment with it a bit. Um, you see me adding in a bit of resin into the cavities. Now when I'm adding the resin, I'm only filling it maybe about halfway or so just because I am going to be adding in alcohol inks and when I drop my alcohol inks, I also like to drop some resin in on top of it because it helps push it forward and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a few. So here I am just adding in those foils. I'm also adding in some glitter as well, getting that mixed in nicely use a toothpick since these are so tiny all right from here I'm just going to drop in my alcohol inks in random color patterns that I just kind of like once I get the colors in how I like I add a little bit of white in on top and then that's when you see me drizzle the resin in on top like I was telling you previously um, I'm also filling up this cavity that had the pigment powder in there because I'm not going to be adding any alcohol ink to that. So I just went ahead and made sure I did fill that one all the way up. But the rest of them I will not be filling up. So you see me just adding in alcohol inks to the different ones as I go. I'm switching the colors up. I'm just kind of doing what speaks to me. I suggest you do the same. You know, just think about how you like colors to look, like what colors you like together, and just pop those in together. You can't really go too wrong with alcohol inks. All right, you see how I do those little drops of white that's gonna help create a nice smoky effect and everything I can't wait till we do the demolding so that way you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about so yeah just keep going on with this part adding in the resin on top move swiftly and you know don't rush too much you know you have plenty of time and everything just don't take too much time to where it starts clumping and the resin starts getting thick because then the alcohol ink doesn't spread as well um, once you do finish with this part and everything we're just going to be letting it stand for a few hours Alright, so we did go ahead and let that stand for about 48 hours. Um, I chose 48 hours because I want these to get nice and hard since it is basically just this one layer and there's not going to be other layers added on. Um, so I just let that sit. Then I wiggle these from the mold. You see they come out beautifully and you see what I'm talking about as far as the alcohol inks and how they kind of swirl around and how that white and dripping it on top kind of creates that 3D smoky effect that we were going for and everything. I really love how this glitter one turned out too. So these are going to be so cute. So, so cute. And this is our little hollow pigment powder one. All right, so we're going to be doing two different methods using this. The first one, we're going to be using E6000. Um, I'm going to just be adding a little bit of E6000 to this little medicine cup that I have here. And then I'm getting these glue-on bales that I found on Amazon. I'll be sure to link those below for you guys as well. Um, I'm just using a toothpick to like kind of put a little bit of glue onto the bales. And then I am placing them onto the little star um, casting 
keychain body so that way you know they are in place and then I just press them down firmly without pushing too hard um, because you don't want to squish all the glue out but you don't want it just like kind of sitting on top either so just go ahead and get those on there choose the colors that you want two of them I did gold and one of them I am doing silver but we have multiple different color choices you see we got some rose gold over there some antique brass that's really cute as well all right so once we got those set where we want them we're going to go ahead and move them off to the side now this is going to be the second method that we do this is going to be using the uv resin to attach on the bales now with the uv resin it is super simple but it did get a little bit messy so this one is a little bit more complicated so if you want something a bit easier definitely go with the e6000 versus uv resin so I start by making sure that these are wiped off nicely and there is no oil or fingerprints on them. I add on the little dots of the UV resin and then I just place those bales on top. Now they do slide a bit. They don't hold quite the way the E6000 does. Um, but if you can get them sitting on top, you just grab your black light like so. And then you set them into place and you'll be good to go. Just make sure you have them in place before you hit it with the light because it will dry pretty quickly. All right, now these I found it was very much easier to do one at a time, um, especially with how the bales fell off because the UV resin does slide a whole lot. It, it's a whole lot um, slippery. Slip. It's, it's, a whole <laughs> it's a whole lot more slippery than the E6000 is. So we're just going to go ahead and repeat those steps for these next two stars that we have here. I know a lot of you are wondering probably why I use this big light. It's just a whole lot faster. Um, I do have a little handheld one that's like a mini portable nail light. It does do the job, but it doesn't. Ha it's not as powerful. So I prefer my big light because I can get through this quicker and I don't mind holding it for 30 seconds. So it doesn't bother me that much. Now, if I'm doing something bigger, it does get a little annoying. But outside of that, it's fine. It's no big deal. So after this, we're just going to let this set after we finish wrapping up here and we're going to let it sit in the sunlight for about one to two days or so. All right, now that that's had a chance to set, we are going to be taking our jump rings. You're going to need them in gold and silver since I did use the gold and silver bales. Um, I'm going to be attaching the charms that I pre-selected off camera. Um, it was kind of boring just watching me go through the bag, but um, these are the charms that I did choose to coordinate with the stars. I just kind of lined them up for the video, and I'm attaching them on um, using the jump rings that coordinate by the color. And you're just going to follow doing this and repeat for all the stars and all the charms. All right, so now we are going to be attaching the keychains to the other side. So we glued on two bales to each star. So on one side, it's going to be the charm. On the other side, it will be the keychain. So the keychains did come with jump rings. So I am just opening those up and attaching them on there. I'm also coordinating these with the colors. Um, so as you see, I have silver keychains and I also have gold keychains. So that way I can make sure that everything matches and it looks nice.
all right so here is our finished product so these three right here are the ones we made using the e6000 they turned out beautifully like i said before it is a simpler method and everything and i don't see anything wrong with it it holds on the bales nicely i did tuck on them a tad and they held on securely so i feel comfortable selling these as is and I would definitely um, recommend for you guys to use them too. And I just think they are so cute. Like, look at these little charms. I love the little sky celestial vibes that they're giving me. Now, this right here, this is from our other method using the UV resin to attach those bales on. So you can see here those nice um, alcohol ink patterns and the charms that we have attached onto each these just turned out beautifully as well and they also do look very good too so i also recommend using the uv resin if you do have that and you know how to you know get it set on there and you don't have any issues with that balance definitely go for it if you have any questions comments or anything like that please go ahead and list them below for me thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial i can't wait to see you guys next time bye now subscribe